では、帝国となりましたので。Now we'd like to、uh, start、uh, the explanation regarding、uh, the automotive system uh, business. Uh, the speaker will be、uh, Hideaki Seki, President and CEO of Hitachi Automotive Systems. Mr. Seki, please. My name is、uh, Seki uh, of Hitachi Automotive Systems. I would like to now start、uh, the explanation of、uh, the automotive systems business strategy. I would like to start off、uh, with the explanation of our corporate uh, uh, philosophy. Uh, in 2009,、uh, we have become a 100% uh, affiliated uh, subsidiary uh, of uh, Hitachi Limited. From that time onward,、uh, we have、uh, set forth、uh, with the corporate、uh, credo. It、uh, will contribute to the realization of an affluent society by creating new values. Added systems, products, and services through the harmonization of people, vehicles, and society. So far,、uh, we have、uh, been operating、uh, under three axes. As you can see here、uh, environment, safety.、Uh, these uh, axes uh, are the Hitachi Automotive Systems、uh, will be in charge of this. And in terms of information,、uh, Clarion、uh, will be supporting this, as you know very well. The environment uh, around uh, the automotive industry uh, is uh,、uh, multifold, uh, such as、uh, environmental conservation as well as traffic congestion reduction. Uh, Hitachi uh, and uh, ourselves will work together uh, to meet uh, the needs of society with advanced、uh, vehicle control systems、uh, to meet、uh, the needs of uh, uh, the Uh, society. For 2016, I would like to talk about the revenues as well as、uh, the explanation of uh, uh, our field.、Uh, the revenues for 2016、uh, was、uh, 992.2 billion.、Uh, in terms of、uh, environment, it、uh, is inclusive of、uh, engines, the conventional engines, as well as、uh, the electric power systems, accounting for 40%.、Uh, furthermore, Uh, we are not just limited to engine parts,、uh, but the、uh, chassis、uh, related parts,、uh, parts such as steering wheel as well as brakes are covered as well.、Uh, and in terms of、uh, cameras、uh, to control these uh, uh, products,、uh, together with the、uh, integrated、uh, chassis control system, it is accounting for 40% of the safety field.、Uh, Clarion uh, is uh, focused on the information field. As well as、uh, inclusive of、uh, aftermarket area is accounting for 20%. Information field and others、uh, is accounting for 20%. Let me give you a summary of、uh, fiscal year 2016 in terms of revenues.、Uh, against the forecast of 1 trillion,、uh, the result、uh, was 992.2 billion yen. Whether there are sales are fed,、uh, we have.、Uh, Uh, improved uh, capacity utilization, uh, but uh, uh, the result is 99% because we have been impacted by the foreign exchange uh, uh, volatility. Uh, in our company, we need to step up efforts、uh, to counter the effects uh, of uh, foreign exchange.、Uh, operating income forecast was 60 billion,、uh, resulting in 56.3 billion.、Uh, we have improved the capacity utilization, but、uh, impacted by foreign exchange. In terms of EBIT, Uh, the uh, result uh, was higher uh, by 68 billion yen uh, against uh, the uh, forecast. Uh, the asset uh, sales uh, has had an impact, and that is the reason why the result uh, was uh, higher at、uh, 65.8 billion yen.、Uh, we need to address、uh, the exchange risk further. Uh, that means that、uh, we have to improve the local procurement rate,、uh, increasing from 82% in 2016 to 85% in 2018.、Uh, in China, a pure local rate、uh, will be required. Uh, uh, we would like to increase that to 60% uh, uh, in 2018 to deal with the foreign exchange volatility. Let me now talk about the business performance trends. As mentioned earlier, for 2016,、uh, 992 billion was uh, the uh, revenues. And、uh, in 2017, we would like to revert back uh, to, uh,、um, to uh, 1 trillion and then 1.1 trillion and 1.3 trillion、uh, in 2020.、Uh, in terms of uh, uh, profitability, uh, 7% operating profit、uh, income 
ratio uh, is to be achieved. Uh, in terms of our growth at that time, 2.5% uh, uh, is uh, the growth uh, of uh, automotive, and 9.2% uh, 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 is uh, what uh, we are trying to achieve, and uh, higher than uh, the uh, the average of the industry and uh, overseas production ratio will be 60 uh, percent uh, at that time so now let me talk about the strategy to uh, achieve this for 2016 the conventional products and uh, um, the electric driven uh, products uh, uh, ratio was 50 50. for 2018 uh, electronics uh, is to increase to 53 percent and uh, increase that to 56 percent uh, in 2020. Uh, in particular, electrification and autonomous driving products uh, will be important. Uh, increasing from 20% to 30%, uh, we would like to position this as the growth striver for our future. And then, uh, in order to achieve uh, this uh, goal, there are three strategies that we will be executing. Let me elaborate. I talked about uh, the important uh, uh, axes of uh, environment, safety, and information. Uh, we have to deal uh, with the social issues uh, that and the, the drivers to resolve the social issues uh, are the electrification system as well as the autonomous driving system and uh, connected services. In other words, Hitachi Automotive Systems and Clarion uh, will work together to provide parts uh, to the cars by so doing, uh, Hitachi Automotive Systems uh, will provide systems and devices that support the Hitachi Group solutions, uh, the uh, data uh, coming from cameras as well as uh, control uh, information uh, are accumulated in the service of the customers. Utilizing these uh, uh, data, we hope that the social infrastructure challenges uh, can be overcome. Uh, Hitachi uh, Limited is uh, uh, working on this uh, on the part of the whole group. Uh, we hope that the solutions can be generated. Now let me uh, talk about uh, the market trends. Uh, the top five uh, Japanese, US, European automobile uh, manufacturers roadmap uh, is uh, presented. In 2020, uh, by uh, 2020, uh, although it is conditioned on the highway, uh, all the OEMs uh, will be achieving uh, level three in terms of uh, autonomous uh, driving. Now, electric drivers as well as autonomous vehicles, uh, uh, introduction timing uh, is being accelerated further. Against this backdrop, uh, let's now look at the market trends. Uh, first of all, in terms of uh, EVs, uh, 2017, uh, it was 95 million uh, was uh, the market size. Uh, 2030, uh, it will increase to 135 million. Uh, that is being expected out of which uh, the EV vehicles uh, will uh, be uh, 38 million uh, units, or 4.2 times higher than the 27 million level. China is uh, one of the two largest markets. Uh, in, uh, 10 million was 2017 in the US. And uh, it will increase by three times, uh, you know, even in the US market alone. Uh, what about uh, EVs? Uh, 2013, uh, 135 million uh, is uh, expected in 2013, uh, inclusive of uh, AD and ADAS. Uh, 41 million uh, is uh, to be achieved, uh, so the market will increase uh, fivefold. Uh, 10 million in the US and 10 million uh, in the US. Uh, that means uh, that uh, in the two largest markets, uh, uh, half uh, will be accounted for uh, in terms of uh, the market size. Now, against this backdrop, I would like to talk about uh, our strategy uh, going forward. And now, uh, this is uh, the uh, share of uh, autonomous driving. Uh, vertical axis uh, is the EV share. Now, looking at the green area, uh, this is the area where the uh, EV is being expanded. The blue area uh, is uh, the customer area that is increasing autonomous driving. And here, uh, the top five uh, OEMs are shown here. You can see that the blue uh, circled areas are where 
We have already introduced our products in terms of VV as well as AD, or uh, the adoption has uh, been uh, decided. That means that in China, out of seven, five OEMs uh, will we have made inroads into five OEMs. In the US, on the other hand, out of the top 10, uh, we have made inroads uh, into five OEMs. So in the two largest markets of China and US uh, for EV and autonomous driving, the share uh, is high in terms of uh, OEM adoption, and uh, we have uh, been evaluated very highly by these uh, OEMs. Well, so far, I have presented uh, the past uh, trajectory of our business, how our business uh, developed. In terms of electric uh, drive business, starting from 2000, we have been supplying it to a variety of customers. Uh, GM to 2010. In 2015, uh, we acquired Ford's business, and uh, two other customers have decided uh, to use our products. Uh, with Honda, in February uh, this year, we have uh, made an announcement that we will together be creating a JV joint venture with Honda. Autonomous driving uh, is a product for the future. ADAS control unit and stereo camera, Subaru and Suzuki uh, are using, and uh, autonomous uh, parking, automatic uh, parking. Uh, one in 2007 uh, and another in the following years uh, has been determined. And central gateway. Uh, for such uh, products, in 2016, we acquired one customer. So uh, we are increasing the number of customers. Uh, increasing number of customers is continuing to use our product, and we're also developing new customers as well. So this is an example of uh, the sales expansion of motors. As I said, in February, we made an announcement that we will be collaborating with Honda. Honda has uh, vehicle expertise as a car manufacturer, and uh, Hitachi uh, has expertise in motor manufacturing, and uh, with the two combined, uh, we will be setting up a JV in July. We will be following uh, that plan, uh, creating a new entity. And in China, as well as the US, we will have manufacturing subsidiaries. So uh, we would like to expand sales of competitive motors to meet growing demand uh, for electric vehicle motors uh, from automakers around the world. Uh, next, I would like to talk about initiatives with respect to autonomous driving. In Express uh, Way Level 2, Experiment uh, a Car uh, was uh, launched uh, for our customers in 2016. This year, uh, we will be presenting Level 3. Uh, the characteristic of Hitachi is that it's not based on PC. It's a unit that can be mass produced, and that is the capability that we already have. In Tokachi, we have a test course, and uh, uh, we have demonstrated uh, test uh, driving and uh, low speed car passing, auto lane changing, traffic jam assist. Uh, we have done demonstrations, so please take a look at the video uh, to show those uh, demonstrations. Now, uh, our autonomous driving and electronic control unit offers safe and smooth vehicle control through real-time integration of information detected by outside recognition sensors and map information. A low-speed car passing function based on road sign information and the speed of the preceding car enables the vehicle uh, to automatically overtake the car in front of one's vehicle. At the time of passing or overtaking, lateral side of the vehicle is monitored through milliwave radar and surround eye system to achieve safe auto lane change. Auto lane change function enables the vehicle to change into the most appropriate lane ahead of the section where the number of lanes is reduced, recognizing high definition map information. Uh, on a real-time basis, uh, the location of one's own vehicle uh, can be accurately grasped using GPS and serial camera information. Uh, next, on traffic jam assist function, this function is used uh, to sustain autonomous driving when visibility of the lanes ahead is poor because of congestion or in areas around the toll booth uh, where there is no lane. Using uh, just a stereo camera, the driving trajectory of the preceding car is accurately recognized so that the vehicle can follow and reproduce what the preceding car has done to achieve safe and secure steering of the car. As you saw in our test course, we have done a number of demonstrations. Uh, we will continue uh, to reinforce our development activities. 
So electrification and autonomous driving. As we establish these uh, technologies, uh, where uh, do our strength uh, lie? That's what I would like to explain. First, with respect to electrification, already we have motors, inverters, and batteries. In uh, those areas, we have uh, a production technology as well as technology to develop high output and compact motors and inverters. Uh, we have uh, the capability to uh, propose uh, these uh, as a package, as a total solution. Uh, for autonomous driving, we already have a diverse range of products. So recognition technology represented in cameras. And in terms of judgment capability, we have autonomous driving, ECU, and uh, steering and brakes uh, as actuators, uh, control units. Uh, with a uh, reduced number of uh, components, uh, we can offer a system that is cost competitive. We have such capability. And Hitachi Automotive uh, Systems collaborating with uh, Clarion, we can offer such packages and solutions. In the area of connectivity at Hitachi, we have uh, banking uh, system solutions, operating systems uh, solutions. Uh, through such businesses, uh, we have high quality, highly reliable infrastructure that we can offer by collaborating with, with uh, this uh, business. Based on uh, integration with car parts, uh, we can respond effectively to mega trends and the issues that are brought forth through mega trends. And of course, uh, at the base, we have conventional products. They can also be combined so that uh, systems uh, products uh, can be uh, driven for increased uh, sales. Now, what is our uh, technology strength? We asked a consulting firm to rate our technology strength. Autonomous driving, electric uh, drive, connectivity. These are the areas or indicators uh, that we asked the consulting firm to look into. And these are the ratings. Um, Company A, Company B, Company C, these are mega suppliers. We were rated 91. And in the most advanced area for Hitachi, uh, the score was 92 for Hitachi, where we are inferior uh, autonomous uh, driving with a score of 90 uh, with respect to autonomous uh, driving. Uh, in view of what's going to happen in the future, we have to redouble our development efforts, I believe as far as autonomous uh, driving uh, is concerned. So we need to uh, focus more. And uh, we would like to become a major player uh, amidst uh, mega trends. So what is our thinking on collaborative solutions provided by Hitachi Group? As I explained so far, Hitachi Automotive uh, Systems and Clarion for autonomous uh, driving and electrification. They together provide uh, systems uh, for that control information for the car, external information captured by uh, the camera. Uh, they're all uh, stored in uh, the customer's server. Now, looking at the automotive industry, predictive maintenance uh, software update service, uh, these are already provided uh, close to customers. And uh, we believe uh, that we can be a provider of solutions. And uh, this is an area that should be led by Hitachi Automotive uh, Systems. Hitachi uh, can uh, help community uh, to be built. Uh, we can also provide social infrastructure services. And that is uh, uh, where uh, Hitachi can be active in providing services and platforms. So Hitachi Group uh, uh, will be connected uh, uh, within and uh, will uh, link uh, and connect people, cars, and communities. Next response to megatrends. On the left-hand side, electrification systems and products are three initiatives I mentioned. Compared to fiscal year 16 by fiscal year 20, uh, we would like to achieve a 3.6-fold uh, increase in sales or revenue through co-creation and collaboration with customers. Uh, we would like to drive sales in China. In particular, for autonomous uh, driving compared to fiscal year 2016, uh, we will be uh, increasing revenue in 2020 uh, by 2.3 times. And uh, we created safety and information systems uh, division as a one-stop uh, shop service. Uh, through that, uh, we would like to uh, strengthen autonomous driving system proposals for customers and expand revenues. This is another example. An important customer of ours, GM, uh, to GM, 
we have uh, supplied and increased our sales uh, of uh, electrification systems and products. And uh, uh, on top of that, uh, we would like to uh, sell autonomous uh, driving products as well. Uh, China is very much focused upon by GM, so we would like uh, to increase our sales uh, in that market uh, exponentially. Our quality is highly rated. For five years in a row, we received Supplier Quality Excellence Award from GM. So with that uh, as a leverage, uh, we would like to continue to make proposals to customers, including GM. Now, two major markets, China and Americas. Uh, these are uh, the targets for expansion in these two markets. In China, uh, compared to the baseline year of 2010, we would like to increase revenue by 2.7 fold uh, by year 20. In Americas, uh, uh, 2.6 times. And uh, uh, the market growth uh, may dull uh, in the next few years in North America, but uh, uh, but by uh, leveraging our parts uh, portfolio, uh, we would like to drive uh, uh, sales and uh, representative case uh, is uh, forward. Now, how are we going to enhance our uh, technology uh, proposal making capability? We have China, Japan, uh, North America. Uh, we have technical centers in these regions. And these four regions uh, are collaborating with uh, uh, Hitachi headquarters uh, R&D division. In the United States, there's Michigan as well as Stanford universities that we collaborate with, especially for AD autonomous driving. Part of the functions uh, that used to exist in Japan were transferred to North America. In Silicon Valley, advanced technology can be developed and uh, uh, test uh, driving uh, uh, can be done more actively in uh, the United States. So. For R&D, uh, the ratio should be uh, raised uh, from 7.6% in year 17 to 10% in year 18. Uh, for AD, software development capability will also be required. And uh, in April, uh, we created a software development uh, uh, unit. Uh, we have consolidated software development uh, resources into one unit, and we will be strengthening such uh, personnel. It's not just uh, strengthening of personnel that we will engage in. We will also enhance efficiencies of development activities. Simulation-based uh, development uh, will be uh, increased uh, so that it can account for 30% of the total activity. With respect to manufacturing, we will be utilizing IoT already. Uh, between the customers and our sales force, uh, data is uh, uh, delivered, and uh, through global links, uh, we will be connecting uh, Europe, uh, Asia, and Americas, and uh, uh, we will be able uh, to optimally uh, plan for maintenance and production, prevention of mega recalls, predictive maintenance, improvement of production efficiency will be applied, and through that, asset efficiency uh, can be enhanced and improve asset efficiency by expanding the introduction of manufacturing execution system, MES, to more than 900 manufacturing lines in 2017. And we will leverage Lumada in the process. And this is about cost uh, structure reform and cash generation. With respect to cost uh, structure reform, uh, we will strengthen manufacturing quality assurance capabilities through IoT utilization, and also strengthen investment management and improve asset efficiency. And uh, for cash generation, expand proposals of products and systems in response to mega trends and strengthen cooperation between Hitachi Group companies for improvement of CCC uh, fiscal year 2016. Uh, it was 40.5 days. It will be reduced further. Uh, and operating CF, uh, as the numbers are shown, and for ROA, uh, our target is over 5%. So. By uh, 2018, we will uh, bring it to above 5% uh, for improvement of gross margin, SG and A ratio in 2016. Uh, because of uh, R&D expenses uh, increase, uh, SG and A wasn't, uh, but that will be brought back uh, uh, and gross margin improved. Now, as a summary, revenue uh, target of uh, year 18, 1.1 trillion yen, adjusted operating income margin, 7.0%, ROA 5.3%, operating cash flow, 105 billion yen, and 
Automotive uh, business growth 2.5%. That's the market growth. And uh, we would like to achieve 9.1%, uh, far greater than the market growth rate. And revenue of 1.3 trillion yen shall be our target. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention. And next, we'd like to move on to QA. Uh, yeah, include, uh, uh, in addition to Mr. Seki, we will have uh, Mr. Takeshi Miyamoto, Executive uh, Officer, General Manager and Finance and Accounting Division of Hitachi Automotive Systems, uh, uh, to uh, respond. Uh, the floor is now open. A question. I have three questions. Uh, first question uh, is uh, the uh, profitability by region. Uh, according to uh, regular OEMs, uh, China is the highest uh, and North America is second, and uh, Japan is the lowest, and that is uh, uh, the prevailing trend. But in your company, uh, what is the profitability uh, for the different uh, regions? That's my first question. Answer? Regarding uh, the profitability uh, for each region, uh, it is true that uh, Japan is worst on an individual basis. Uh, this is uh, the prevailing trend in the industry. Uh, R&D hubs uh, are uh, located uh, here. That is having an impact. Uh, therefore, uh, profitability is highest uh, in China as well. And then uh, Asia and uh, uh, North America. In Europe, on the other hand, there are mega suppliers that are stronger than us. Uh, therefore, uh, we are not yet uh, making inroads uh, into Europe today. Question. Uh, it's a related uh, question. In the midterm business plan, uh, the operating income uh, margin is 7% after adjustment. Now, uh, out of all the BUs that have disclosed, uh, it is the lowest. Uh, your BU is the lowest. Obviously, R&D uh, burden must be very significant for you. And uh, it isn't as if a business uh, can ramp up uh, easily in the case of automotive systems. Now, uh, in terms of uh, um, the midterm plan, it is uh, lower than 8%, uh, the average, but uh, 1.3 trillion. Uh, if uh, revenue uh, can be achieved, uh, then, in terms of uh, operating profit margin, what uh, can we expect? Uh, China and North America is likely to increase. Uh, that means that the mix will improve. Uh, please uh, elaborate further. Answer. Now, to your question, for 2020, uh, you're asking about uh, the profit margin at that time. Uh, for Hitachi uh, Group, 8% uh, uh, is the target. And uh, we are still at the 7% level. That is true. But uh, this industry, uh, per se, is not yet uh, a highly profitable uh, industry today. But uh, as we uh, uh, proceed ahead uh, in the Hitachi Limited Group, uh, various uh, solutions can be driven by us. And therefore, uh, we will consider uh, different services that uh, we can offer in the mid to long term for 2020. Uh, you have asked a question, but uh, uh, we are aiming for 7% uh, and above. That's all I can say at this point in time. A uh, question uh, regarding uh, the automotive uh, systems. What is your acquisition strategy? Uh, please elaborate once again. Now, it seems. Uh, uh, that the uh, non-organic uh, acquisition is being contemplated uh, for the Hitachi Limited overall. Uh, in uh, the automotive system, you have made acquisitions in Germany in the past. Uh, according to your current uh, presentation today, uh, you have uh, uh, products as well as technology. It seems uh, that uh, you are have a you are able to uh, cope with the current uh, environment, uh, but are there missing parts? Uh, or uh, can you generate the plus alpha through acquisitions? Uh, please elaborate further. Answer. So please refer to this. Uh, I mentioned this uh, when I was referring to this page. Uh, it's this area, this score here, 
that I'm just pointing to. Uh, uh, we are behind A and B companies. Uh, currently, we are behind uh, in these areas. But in terms of autonomous driving, level three, level four uh, is uh, in the future. Uh, therefore, the type of technology cannot be focused fully yet. Uh, but uh, we want to increase uh, our uh, strength in terms of electric driving and autonomous driving, and we cannot do this organically. Therefore, uh, we will like to consider uh, M&A as well. In 2004, uh, we have uh, been established uh, as Hitachi Nishia, Hitachi Kanariko. Uh, have uh, um, uh, been established into this current uh, business unit. Uh, and uh, 2009, uh, we have uh, the current uh, organization set up. Uh, I know that uh, m and can be useful in buying time, uh, but it is difficult to um, generate the synergies. Uh, but uh, uh, if we can bring to bear the synergies and uh, if we can provide the better products and services customers would like to proactively think of uh, m and but uh, there is nothing specific uh, uh, today. Any other questions? Thank you very much. I have a couple of questions. Um, the JV with Honda, uh, does it have exclusivity over the uh, engine production for Honda? And um, if yes, will this apply to the entire volume? Hi. Answer. In February this year, we made an announcement that we will be forming a JV with Honda, as I said at the time. Uh, as part of Honda's presentation, it was said uh, that in 2030, one third of the vehicles uh, should be electrified. Uh, that was uh, what uh, Honda said back then. And we will be supplying our motors via the JV uh, to uh, their uh, production activities. So that's what we're going to do through JV. Did that answer your question? JV so has exclusivity over the electric vehicle engine production, or Honda can develop um, other engines outside of the JV? Honda will be sourcing motors uh, from this JV. The JV has exclusivity going forward. Hi. That is correct. Thank you. On uh, page 11, the forecast for internal combustion engine, um, it looks like, you know, um, th this chart shows that the number of combustion engines, internal combustion engines, will never go down. Um, where is this chart coming from? Arthur Ray Little Japan, that is the source of this information. Arthur D. Little Japan. I'm talking about this section the left-hand side, on the top left. Yeah. Yeah. Answer the same, the same information source. Did that answer the question? Uh, next question, please. Uh, question, I have two questions. Regarding uh, electric drive as well as autonomous driving, uh, uh, the, you're expecting that revenues will increase and uh, this is going to drive uh, the business going forward. That was your assertion. Now, uh, I think uh, on page 7, 18% uh, uh, out of uh, 900 billion, and uh, you said that is around 26% is going to be the growth driver. So it means that the revenue is to double. But if you look at the page 21, uh, with electric uh, driving as well as uh, uh, autonomous driving, uh, it is uh, uh, expected to increase by three times or two times. So is it two times or three times? I don't know. 
it is not clear. Uh, are they consistent figures? Yes. Answer, there, it is consistent numbers. Uh, question uh, 21, uh, 300, uh, 360 uh, that has been indexed. Uh, what uh, is the actual increase in numbers? And so we are not uh, disclosing uh, individual numbers, uh, but uh, we are looking at the fiscal 2020 sales target. Therefore, from customers, uh, we have received uh, orders. Uh, there are customers that have uh, decided to order to us, as well as uh, based on our forecast, uh, uh, inclusive of all these factors that we have identified this number. And uh, with the previous numbers, uh, there is no inconsistency. Uh, they are aligned. Uh, page 7, page 21, which one is correct then? Answer. If you look at individual parts, they are both correct. As I already mentioned, uh, uh, 2016 and 2020 basis. Uh, with the uh, electric drivers with autonomous driving, especially autonomous driving is likely to double. Uh, we have a, a good understanding that uh, uh, this is the case. Uh, question. Uh, the consultants uh, have uh, uh, rated you and provided scores. 90 points uh, is very high. Now, uh, compared to competitors, uh, uh, 90 is lower than your competitors. So what is uh, uh, lacking in terms of uh, autonomous driving? And uh, you are limited to 90 behind others. You said that uh, you would like to uh, complement this uh, with uh, m and But uh, specifically, what is lacking in your case that uh, makes you remain at 90? Answer. What is lacking uh, on our part uh, is uh, the recognition senses. Uh, this is where we are lacking. Uh, we are strong in terms of stereo cameras uh, and uh, laser radars. Uh, these are areas that we have uh, strength. Uh, we have a uh, competitive edge. But on the other hand, uh, beyond this level, RIDA uh, is being uh, developed uh, now very uh, proactively. So without using uh, expensive uh, riders, uh, we'd like to enable uh, autonomous driving. Uh, we are still on this course. And so uh, we don't know what is going to be the mainstream yet. I'm sure that uh, various sensors uh, will be developed uh, in the future. And uh, uh, there could be parts uh, where we'll have to complement uh, where we were lacking, uh, or, or um, there could be other softwares uh, emerging as well. Uh, question. In terms of uh, improving your competitive uh, stories, uh, sensor so will we have to be uh, uh, ramped up uh, through uh, large m and Is that what you are saying? Answer. We don't know what the techno technological landscape is going to be. Depending on uh, the development of uh, technology, that could be an option for us. Or our parts or our software uh, could uh, suffice uh, depending on the landscape. So it is as if uh, m and is the only strategy for us. Thank you. Uh, the time to close is fast approaching, so let us start, take uh, the last uh, question. Question. Just one question. Uh, with respect to electrification, motors, inverters, uh, and the bench, I do believe that Hitachi has uh, track records, but going forward, Mitsubishi Electric uh, will be making a full-fledged entry in that area. So for the future, SIC could be incorporated. And uh, for batteries, it seems that for the past five years, density has not improved. Uh, nickel uh, batteries density is to be raised by Hitachi. You have made an announcement. Unless that is determined, electrification uh, will not proceed quickly. Lithium uh, batteries are not a very profitable business uh, for many. Tesla 
uh, is now seeking uh, Giga Hub and so forth. So core device technology and future trends, what are they going to be? And profitability, as competition becomes harsher and harsher, what will be the profitability? So electrification core device uh, technology, what is the status? Uh, what's the future of it? And the profitability associated with that business. If you have any thinking on that, if you could share that with us. That's my question. Answer. Motors, inverters, uh, batteries. We've had uh, technologies. We have been mass producing such products. Looking at each component or each product, uh, we have uh, weaknesses and strength, especially with respect to batteries. Uh, we're good at batteries for output, but when it comes to EV purposes, uh, uh, for batteries that require capacity, we're weak. So with respect to batteries, uh, for battery cells, uh, uh, investment uh, competition is becoming harsh. So going forward, are we going to avoid having competition and investment, or are we going to embrace it? Uh, we have to debate and decide. We have strength in controllers, battery uh, control module. This is something that we will keep on. But for uh, cells, uh, uh, there are many options that we can choose from. For inverters, new materials are being developed. SIC is one such material. So we would uh, uh, like to uh, continue to exert our strength in developing materials. And uh, we are in the process of making proposals uh, uh, in this area to many customers. So we will continue to be active for motors, motors. Uh, this is an equipment heavy business, so that is why, uh, because our interests and opinions uh, uh, have been aligned, uh, we decided to have a JV with Honda. So uh, we would like to start making CapEx uh, at the earliest uh, possible stage together with Honda so that uh, we can reduce the cost of producing high quality motors um, by being ahead of uh, uh, the market. Uh, we would like to enhance. Uh, increase the business. And uh, inverters, motors, control technology, that is at the core of this business. So we're not going to let that go. We will strengthen where we have strength, uh, where we are inferior to others. Uh, we would like to explore various options. We're not going to do everything on our own. Uh, we would like to choose wisely uh, so that we can be competitive. Question. You talked about cells, battery cells. Nissan and uh, NEC, they have a business that's not uh, uh, going very well. Sony, likewise. And uh, the situation may be fluid, but uh, if you know that profitability can be secured, uh, will you make a deeper commitment in battery cells? Uh, we're not going to rule out any options. We're open to any options. But uh, in this area, uh, one way or the other, you have to produce in China. Japanese as well as Korean manufacturers uh, have yet to establish manufacturing in China. So how are you going to approach China to set up manufacturing sites? And uh, already there's harsh competition in terms of investment. So we need to look at that as we make a decision. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, there are some uh, additional information that would like to provide from the Secretariat. Uh, uh, there are two points uh, to add. Uh, uh, first is regarding uh, the joint venture with uh, Honda. Uh, regarding Honda is going to be the main provider. But uh, uh, if uh, uh, they uh, give uh, consent, uh, we can provide to other um, manufacturers as well. Uh, regarding autonomous driving uh, products, uh, in terms of uh, the pages, Please refer to page seven regarding autonomous uh, driving. And uh, you said that uh, uh, it will go from 18% to 26% uh, uh, in from 16 to 20. And um, page 21, autonomous driving, uh, uh, if we have uh, 100 uh, uh, in uh, 2016, is 230 uh, in 2020. It's not completely equal, but uh, in page 7, uh, steering and control is also included. Uh, but uh, on page 21, uh, steering uh, and uh, controls uh, have uh, been excluded. Uh, that is the reason why definitions differ. That is the reason why there is inconsistency in terms of number. That's all. 
Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we would now like to bring the automobile system business uh, session to a close. Thank you.